Claudia submitted a question that was somewhat close to my heart. Uh, a couple of months ago, I was in a motor accident, and they were thinking that they may have to remove my spleen. Fortunately, they didn't. But she wanted to know, what would you recommend to someone with no spleen? Well, spleens, as you may know, have a lot to do with developing leukocytes and blood cells in the body. So when that part of your body is gone, thank God nature knows how to help you. you know, ideally, you'd have a spleen, but if you don't have a spleen, then other parts of your body sort of take up the slack with it. So in, in a case with, with leukocyte activity, white blood cell activity, the soldiers of the immune system not being as widely available as they would be when you have a spleen, you've got to really, really be sure that you avoid any potential infections. So you want to make sure that you go well out of your way to eat impeccably, to take supplementation that increases immunity, and make sure that you don't have a requirement for large amounts of leukocytes to be out there. Number two, the cleaner you eat and the more you exercise and perspire from aerobic exercise, the better it is. Because the bloodstream being like a pristine river in a perfect scenario, if it remains pristine, you don't have a requirement for the vacuum cleaner, the leukocyte, to go around and clean up as much. So again, you have more white blood cells sitting on the sideline when some real infection comes in at that point. So clean, lots of perspiration, perspiration bringing lots of waste out of the body, taking the waste out of the bloodstream, as well as making sure that you heat the body up and kill off microbes. See, exercise in, in, in great part has a triple reason. One is mental that nobody speaks about, that endorphin activity occurs from the human brain, so people are much, much happier when they do consistent aerobic exercise. The minimum must be 35 minutes, five days a week ideally six days a week for an hour. And that makes happy heads. Number two, the detoxification aspect that I just spoke about with you. And number three, the little kill-off of disorders. We even know that cancer cells die. All of us have cancer cells in our body. When you heat the body up, only one degree. Well, thank you.